Hi, my friends, welcome. If you're returning or new, appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is going to be kind of a get ready with me, trying some new products or newer products. Some of these I've tested, you know, maybe worn a couple of times, but still get gathering my thoughts on those. So I just thought we could get ready together, maybe chat a little bit and show you some newer products that I've been trying. So if you like the kind of content, make sure you stay tuned. Right. Hello. Hello, my friends. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of new products that have come my way. Uh, if you've seen any of my recent declutter, you know, eyeshadow collection <laughs> review, then uh, you know I have a lot of stuff. So I've had, of course, new stuff coming through. So I wanted to show you some products that are, uh, I'm still trying to test, see how I feel. Some of these I've worn a couple of times or a couple areas that I didn't have like brand new products, but newer still. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna go over those and uh, get ready together and give you my thoughts on these and see how they perform. So if you like that kind of content, I do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications. Um, otherwise, grab a drink, a snack, your makeup if you want to get ready with me, and uh, let's put on some new makeup. Yeah, good times. All right, so I'm going to zoom you in a little bit here. All right, sorry, hopefully that's still close enough, but not, okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, hello, I feel close and personal. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? No, I'm just kidding, sorry, don't mind me. Um, sorry I look a little crazy, but um, yeah, I just woke up, well, I don't wanna say I just woke up not that long ago, but um, yeah, I was kinda hanging out outside. It's a beautiful day, fall, it was like in the upper 50s. I was sitting outside on the new little patio my husband made for me. Uh, we were just sitting there drinking some coffee. <laughs> you know, just kinda relaxing for a little while. I had to get my mind ready, you know. Uh, to film all day. So um, yeah, so here we are. But yeah, so I have already prepped my face as far as like serum, moisturizer, SPF, all that is already on. Uh, one thing I've been meaning to try just because I'm so bad about trying uh, primers, I thought I'd break out the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer that is supposed to be a dupe for uh, Glow Recipes Watermelon. So we're gonna use that. I've used it a couple of times, but I'm honestly just so bad about remembering primer. It's not that I don't wanna use it, it's just a step, like usually when I'm getting ready, I'm like literally, I've got like 30 minutes to get myself all together for work. That's usually when I'm even putting makeup on. Uh, yeah, so like I just honestly just, it's one of the steps I forget because I'm like, okay, I gotta cut out some steps, <laughs> you know? I'm like, I got limited time. I do wanna spend at least a little bit of time with my family before I head out to work, you know? Uh, and you know, this is kind of my space to get my mind right, you know, get ready for work, but um, yeah. But uh, that is very nice. Uh, it does have a very similar scent, um, that, you know, watermelon. But uh, yeah, and I was already kind of glowy anyway, so you know, let's just add to the glow. Uh, one thing, not brand brand new, but again, something I've been uh, actually really enjoying is this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I finally got the lightest shade. This is One Fair, and even this is dark. I mean, not dark, but I mean, this is, I wish they had some lighter shades because that's the only thing I feel like anyone with a lighter skin tone, it's not gonna work all that well. Uh, but what I've really been enjoying is mixing this with foundation. I don't put it on first, but I put it on with my foundation. Uh, one that I have been uh, trying recently, which seems like, I don't know if it's gone viral, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it, the Revolution IRL uh, filter foundation, longwear foundation, mine's an F7. I do have to watch with this. I do have dry skin and I do find that if you have uh, dry skin, I just did like a pump and a half. Uh, if you have drier skin like I do, I do find that by the time I put all my other products on, I do feel a little bit dry at the end. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just mixing. And it's funny because the F7 was the lightest shade that they actually had available still or like the closest in between shade. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be too dark because it's described as like a medium. I'm like, this is definitely not medium. I mean, I have like light to, I could get away with light medium, but yeah, like that's definitely not <laughs> medium. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nice for like longer wear. I will say that, you know, cause I do work long shifts. I mean, 12 hour shifts by the end, I'm like, whew. Uh, you know, most foundations have worn off, barely there. So I think it looks pretty nice. Um, but like I said, I do notice that uh, by the end of the day or like midday, I'm feeling kind of dry. Uh, yeah, I'm looking a little powdery. So I think hopefully that glow serum being underneath this 
uh, will help with that a little bit. But I think that's why with this one, I like mixing it so much. Uh, but yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do here in my favorites and fails video coming up, I'm gonna show you, I'm not sure which one's gonna go at first, but I'm gonna show you both of these on, and then, or I mean not both of these on, what am I trying to say? Oh, I'm gonna talk about, <laughs> I'm like quite a lot straight train of thought. Um, I'm going to show like my top foundations currently. I think I have five or six of them, but I, that are newer that I've really been enjoying. So that is it so far. Um, again, it looks better with that glowier products underneath because again, it is a little bit more of a matte type foundation. Uh, but yeah, I think it's smart that they launched this, you know, this time of the year when we're getting into like fall and winter and matte seems, you know, seems to come back this time of the year. Everybody's getting out of the glowy phase. All right, I did forget my regular mirror, so I'm just gonna use my palette mirror. So just make sure I'm well blended. And this is just my process of getting ready. Um, I always, because most of my looks are very basic, very neutral. Uh, so I don't usually have to worry too much about like palette, eyeshadow palette fallout, you know what I mean? Like the shadows leaving a bunch of glitter and a bunch of, you know, mess on my face. So I just like having my base done. First of all, I can blend out my eye, you know what I mean? Just kind of have that like canvas, like, you know, everything's just smoothed out. Um, I have noticed too, and I really thought that, I was like, am I just really that bad at blending? But I've noticed here, I've got this like dark patch around this eye. And I'm like, I keep, you know, looking at it like when I'm finished with my makeup and I'm like, gosh, am I just not blending well enough? Or like, what is going on? But yeah, no, it's literally like the, a dark patch of skin on my eye there in the corner. So I apologize if you ever see my videos and I look like I don't know how to blend. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a makeup artist. I'm the greatest, but um, <laughs> I do feel like I at least know how to put some makeup on. You know what I mean? Like I'm not that challenged with makeup. Oh, here, I got a little bit down here, back left on my... I'm just going to blend that on my cheek a little bit more. But yeah, I have like noticed really for me, like a medium coverage, light to medium is like my sweet spot. I don't really like skin tints are okay, but like I want some, I want a little bit of coverage. Like I still want you to be, you know what I mean? Like to cover up some stuff. Uh, but you know, I don't need like full, full coverage. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to start like putting some, since I've noticed that I'm going to start like putting some more, um, of my concealer out in the corner there so that I'm not noticing so much of that dark spot. And then this concealer I've actually really been enjoying. It's newer too, uh, but it is the one with Kulfi. I really like this. And mine is in the shade Ice Ice Berry, which I feel like I probably could have gone with the next deepest shade, but I think overall, I think it works okay. So, but yeah, I do like this. I think it's nice and creamy. It's lightweight, doesn't feel heavy. Um, that is one thing I have noticed about this Revolution uh, foundation compared to the other ones that I'm gonna talk about in my next video, like my favorite foundations currently. Uh, I have noticed that this one is definitely a little bit, like I feel more like I'm wearing makeup compared to my other foundations. Like my other foundations feel really, really light. And this one just feels a little bit, uh, oops, a little bit, heavier, like, I don't know, more like a ma wearing makeup. Sorry, I gotta grab my makeup wipe here. So it's gonna drive me crazy. I gotta put some, something on because I'm just feeling really dry. Uh, this is something I grabbed Too Faced, the Hangover RX Pillow Balms. I did grab a bunch of these. I think this is the original one, uh, but I've got like four or five of them. I think five. Mm. Okay, that feels better five that I grabbed with the recent uh, Ulta sale. So I have been enjoying those, um, but yeah. So yeah, definitely use something on my lips. That was feeling and looking a little crusty. Sorry if you had to endure that. Um, but yeah, so I do like this, this uh, concealer. Again, feels nice and like, wait, um, I mean, I'm in my mid forties. I have wrinkles, I have fine lines. It's makeup, it's gonna settle, it's gonna crease, you know? Like there's just no getting away from that. But I do feel like I, even though it creases, I'm able to like kind of dab it out a little bit and like, you know, it does improve. So yeah, it's a nice lightweight concealer. So there's that. Um, next, what I've been doing, I do have, 
Now again, this is a little like newer per se, but I didn't have a brand new cream bronzer. I haven't really bought one recently. Like I, you know, I have a bunch, but this is the newest I could think of that I had was the Rose Ink. This is the cream bronzer in Kauai. And I have actually really been enjoying this. So I've been wearing this a lot recently, uh, but yeah, sorry, this is like the newest one in my collection as of right now. So, or like the one I've recently like brought out because I bought it a little while ago, but I really don't even remember using it. Like if I used it, I maybe used it once or twice and then somehow got lost in the mix of all my others. But um, I think it's just a nice lightweight creamy bronzer. Uh, it applies very easily. I like the tone of it too for my skin tone. I don't feel like it's too overwhelming or too dark, but I think it's just really nice. I think it just has a nice tone to it and the color, the depth of it, I like for my skin tone. And I've just been enjoying it. So this, and I did actually break out the Rare Beauty cream, cream bronzer stick recently. Uh, I can't remember what, I think Power Boost. I can't remember which one's the lighter one, but I have been reaching for that one too. I kind of transitioned since I have lost my tan. Um, you know, what I look like now is pretty much <laughs> my normal skin tone. Um, so since I am a little bit lighter lately, I've been uh, going back to the lighter bronzers I have and kind of, you know, working those back in. And yeah, I'm kind of liking this more natural look, natural vibe. But yeah, I like that bronzer. It's very nice. And then, let's see, for blush. Oh yes, an exciting new product that I actually just received. Just received it yesterday. Uh, it's the Patrick Ta. It is the current uh, holiday palette, the head Major Headlines Blush Palette Volume 2. So, as I stated, I did do an Instagram post on this one. I think if you were intimidated by last season's being so like punchy and so bright, whatever, I think you would enjoy this one. I feel like it's a little bit more neutral and I can't really tell, but this seems more of like a highlighter to me, but maybe it's just more of a like uh, glowy blush. But to me, it appears more of a highlighter and this is more of like just a clear cream base, at least from what I could tell. Uh, just by swatching and testing it out. So what I think I'm gonna do today is just go with a more neutral color here in the middle. And then this one is called Giving Sunkissed. So this one's giving glossy and this one's giving flirty. Sorry if you can see the, ooh, that got dark. So yeah, so again, this is giving flirty, this is giving glossy, and then this one in the middle is giving sunkissed. So I think I'm gonna do giving sunkissed. Uh, it's just a more neutral one. Uh, in here. So I think I'm going to try that cream out and then, sorry, I don't know why I just totally forgot my mirror. I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, but yeah, I was struggling getting myself together today. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it was definitely a process today. But yeah, see how pretty that is? Maybe I can prop this up there a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Oh, there we go. That'll work. So yeah, again, I think if you, again, were thinking about, um, I would say for the price and the product, the fact that you get to try three different ones, I think this is a really nice option. Uh, but I really love Patrick Ta's blushes. I'm not even gonna lie. These duos like this with the cream and powder, I love these. Some of my favorites. So yeah, so there is that. Again, that was a middle shade. And then I think for the highlighter, I will try I'm gonna lay down this kind of tacky base here and then see, again, I don't know if it really has, when I swipe, you know, swatched it on my hand, it really didn't show much, but um, I do wanna try it here and just see if it has some kind of glow or some kind of purpose <laughs> other than making the top shade stick a little better. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, I mean, I'm glowy anyways, but definitely has a little bit of a glow there. So again, I think it's more of just to set down the top um, to give you like a tacky base for the top to really, you know, stand out. Uh, so I think that's that. Um, let's see. So usually what I do next, uh, which actually I forgot to bring a setting spray. A lot of times I'll use a setting spray and like set the cream products before I put, uh, which maybe actually I'll go grab one real quick. Hold on. All right, this isn't new, but I went ahead and grabbed just my MAC 
uh, Fix Plus, the original. Actually, this might be the coconut one. I don't remember. But I'm gonna. Oh God, that's dusty. You didn't see that. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this. So yeah, I've been really liking like setting down, like or you know, putting that down before I put the powders down. And I kind of do it like in stages. So I'll do that there, and then I will uh, spray again once I put the powder. Yeah. So I've been liking that. And I did get the new Mac, which I should have brought. I just totally forgot, but I did bring the new, I did buy the new Mac Fix Plus. It's the one supposed to be alcohol free. I did buy the new one of that and I have been enjoying it, so. And then next, uh, this is where I was struggling. I'm like, okay, where do I wanna go with this? Because I have the NARS Summer Unrated. This was a Samantha March made me buy. <laughs> Uh, with the NARS and the original orgasm. So this is the Laguna and then the uh, original orgasm So I have that but uh, what I've recently purchased which I've actually been enjoying uh, Hourglass the ambient editing the l l Can't talk ambient lighting edit unlocked uh, This one says lustrous, but what I did is I customized it. So I love tigers. So I bought the tiger you know, outer packaging, and I customized it with this, which I guess is the lustrous, is what that's saying. So yeah, so this is the one I I purchased, which I really like this entire palette. I think this is a perfect choice for me. But yeah, I'm so glad I bought this one. I'm so glad I customized it because I'm actually really, really liking all of these work for me, all these tones work for me. And what it is, is this one has two of the, uh, I think this is the strobe, so we have, oh, finishing powders, that's what it is. Finishing power, we have dim light, we have soft light there in the middle. Uh, we have metallic strobe powder and beaming strobe light, which I think is a new one. Uh, we have bronzer and lustrous bronze light. We have blush and iridescent coral and blush in radiant rose. And I think those were new as well. So, but yeah, this whole palette has actually been working really well for me. Eh, I guess we'll go with this one. So the only thing is the size of the bronzer, you definitely have to use like a smaller brush. So I do have to go with my smaller refer brush. This is the number 24, I think. Yeah, number 24, which is one of my favorites. So, but yeah, I think the tone of it, I think, ooh, get these little hairs out of my way. I think the tone of it is really nice for my skin tone. So I, which I mean, I know I like their powders. I mean, there was no doubt. I mean, they have some of the best face powders. I mean, they're expensive, they're pricey, but they definitely are some of the best. Yeah, so how's everybody doing? How are you weathering? I know the storm, I don't know when this is gonna post, but I know the hurricane coming through, um, you know, praying for everybody in Florida, in the South, um, I know, this is Thursday when I'm recording, but I know we're gonna get some of the storm on Friday. So tomorrow is supposed to be like raining all day. So I don't know how bad the storm will be. Anyways, but yeah, so I don't know how the storm will be, uh, how, how bad it will hit us, but I, you know, do have my thoughts and prayers for those that are gonna be hit the most with it. I was so nervous. My friend that I work with, Isabella, she's from Puerto Rico. She went down there to visit her family, right? I mean, literally like, just before the storm was about to, I was like, Isabel, what are you doing? <laughs> she went to go visit her family down there. I was like, oh my God. So we just kept them like, oh Lord, please, 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 please be safe. You know, be careful. So, but she um, stayed for a very brief time, ended up having to cut her trip short and, you know, got caught in some of the storm, but was able to make it back before the worst part of it, I think. So, but she's safe at home. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, Isabel. Ooh, girl. Anyways, but yeah, so I know that's rough. And so definitely sorry for any of those that are truly affected by it the most but um let's see what am I gonna do next I'm really like debating do I go uh, I don't know I really I'm like there's so many palettes that I want to use like what in the world do I do so I'm just gonna go in with Patrick Ta's blush just to like complete the look being the same you know what I mean use the same stuff yeah I was trying to keep things simple like by not having too much so I guess I'm just gonna go in with that same brush and hopefully ooh. Hopefully not uh, make it too crazy. Oh goodness, okay. Definitely pigmented, which I honestly had no doubt. Ooh. Yeah, there is any question about pigment. 
Um, yeah. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do just to, I mean, I know by the time I put my powder on and everything, it won't look as crazy. But, there's that. Oh, these little, I swear all these little fringy hairs. What in the world, get out of my way. Okay, sorry, just being dramatic. All right, so that is that so far. But yeah, I'm telling you, Patrick Ta, I love, if you ever get a chance to try their, um, even the single like duo blushes that are like just one specific color, I highly recommend. And then I'm gonna try this as a highlighter. I haven't tried it that way, but we're gonna see how that works. So I'm definitely interested to see how that's gonna, it's gonna be too dark. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not really, so I don't know. I have a feeling it's probably supposed to be more of a blush topper than anything, but I'm just trying it as a highlighter just to see where we are, how it works. But yeah, I would say, unless you're a deeper skin tone, this would be more of a blush topper than a highlighter. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that last one. I like the rest of the palette, but I'm not, I don't know. Let me try it as a actual blush topper and see. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I like it better as a blush topper. I'm able to like diffuse it a little bit better because it looks kind of just patchy the way I had it before. But yeah, so I would say, yeah, this is definitely meant to just really truly be, I was just wondering if I could make it. I know it says it's a face blush palette, you know, um, but I just wondered if I could make that look because it's definitely, you know, more glowy. I was wondering if I could make that work as a highlighter, but no, it's definitely meant to be a blush, like blush topper, so to give you some glow. So because of that, um, I also have this NARS face palette. Uh, this is the Rising Star part of their holiday palette. Uh, again, really, really pretty, but I'm afraid to use <laughs> too many of these because I'm already like, the blush is already like, boom, you know? So I think, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll go with like this more neutral shade. Uh, let's see if it tells, I hate this because they're upside down. Why do they do that? So here, apparently you have Guilty Pleasure and Limelight. Then you have Famous and Paramount. And then Golden Age and Premiere, if I'm reading that correctly, the way that it's like upside down. So I'm guessing that's where the color is. But again, I'm gonna try this one here at the bottom. It's the most neutral. Just wanna get an idea of the color. I'm just packing it on today. And I do really enjoy NARS. I mean, their face products, their eyeshadow palettes, I mean, they, their lips, I mean, they do have really good quality stuff. I kind of went away from NARS for a little bit. I just feel like they weren't, they just kept pulling out the same orgasm, this orgasm, that. And I'm like, okay, As, you know, let's, let's try something new. Let's, let's figure out new, uh, you know, top product. Um, but yeah, so what I really wanted to uh, bring this out for though is to try this as a highlighter, see how that looks. But yeah, so I was, you know, I think it was maybe last holiday that I tried that uh, Climax palette and I was like really, really impressed. So I was like, okay. I was like, I'm definitely gonna be looking out. And then they did that summer unrated uh, eyeshadow palette here recently that I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I definitely like that. That's one of my favorite palettes. And so I was like, yeah, let me try this. I don't know, I feel like it's not, let me see. Let me try just, I just wanna see if there's much, I just wanna see how it swatches. seeing much maybe again maybe that's supposed to be more of a blush topper instead of a highlighter as well uh, but yeah really really pretty palette and I have the eyeshadow palette coming it might actually be arriving today so I should hopefully be able to get a review up on that as well we'll see um, so I think I'm gonna go back into the hourglass and I'm gonna use the highlighter up here out of this one and see if I can make that work I'm like one of these has to work one of these has to like really and maybe you're seeing more than I'm seeing maybe it's just the uh, lighting that I'm not seeing a whole lot and watch I'm gonna look back at this and be like oh my god girl <laughs> like what were you doing um but that's okay but yeah I like it like I've tried it I've tried that highlighter and I do definitely like it so yeah I think I don't know I think it's just honestly some of it's just the lighting in here that it's hard to tell um but yeah so that is the product so far and then I'm gonna put a little bit more of the MAC fix plus 
And then I have a powder that I've actually recently been enjoying. And again, I got this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Sale too, just recently. And um, I was definitely pleasantly surprised on that one because I really was not expecting much. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay. So the powder I'm referring to is Jaclyn, Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is the Do Me Luminous Powder. So I was actually impressed. So I kind of have to shake, shake it quite a lot, which I kind of appreciate. I'm like, I'm glad a whole bunch, because I have one powder that literally I turn it over and the whole thing is like insane. I'm like, okay, that's too much powder. Okay, can you tone that down a little bit? But I do appreciate that this one's not like over the top, like, you know, it comes out, takes a little bit longer to come out, but you know what I mean? You can really control how much product is coming out of the container. But I have really been enjoying this powder. And for me, I honestly just go all over the face because it is luminous. So I like that. And I think it settles down some of the shine, but still gives you some of that luminosity. Feel the hair. Oh gosh, I shed so bad. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm like, I look, everybody's always pulling hairs off of my work clothes. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I just shed like a freaking animal. I don't know, it's like crazy. And I'm like, hopefully I still have some hair on my head left. I don't know. But yeah, I just think it's really smoothing. See, it still has a little, some of that glow, so you're not losing all the glow. But I really, I just have been enjoying that powder and uh, was definitely glad to get it half off. I mean, hey, you know? And with that, which, oh, you know, I guess, actually, I guess I could do because I'm like, I don't know, I'd like to see a little bit. I mean, I'm not completely into highlighters, but I'm like, I would like to see at least a little bit more of a glow. So what I did get the same time I got this powder, um, of course, they had other products of hers on sale. And I already have, I think I have the pressed highlighter, but I got the loose highlighter. And oh, you want to talk about some gleam, some glow. Whew. I was like, oh, goodness. Like you could definitely go crazy with this. So um, I kept the little pout, the little seal on it just so I don't have to worry about, you know, making a mess. So I just kept a little plastic cover on it and then I just dab out a little bit, but I didn't even do that much. So we'll see, we'll see how this, but I remember the first time I tried this, I was like, whoa, oh yeah. I'm like, you want some highlighter? <laughs> Woo, to the moon and back. But yeah, that's a, that's a highlight right there. And I didn't even put, I mean, I dabbed just a little bit. Woo. So if you are somebody that still really likes that intense out of this world highlight, definitely recommend that one. And then I don't know, let me see if it has a specific color on it or if she has more than one, I don't know, but let me see. It's just this extra loose highlighter. So yeah, so check it out. But I did get that on sale. So definitely happy about that. But um, I think, that is pretty much it for the face products. I'm gonna spray one more time. It's just been kind of what I've been doing just because by the end with so many powder products, I just end up feeling so dry. And then plus that'll sit down the makeup as well, so. But yeah, so I've definitely been enjoying that. Let me put some of this stuff away. And sorry if my shirt's a mess. Um, I made the mistake of wearing a like cream color cardigan over the shirt. I was like, what was I thinking? So of course I have like little fuzzies everywhere, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, leave it to me. Very smart, very good, very smart. All right, star of the show. The one thing that I've been waiting, I've been talking all kinds of stuff about this. I've put it on my Instagram, whatever, but I've like never done a specific review on it, is Glaminatrix Nearly Natural Palette. Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. I mean, gorgeous. If you love natural, neutral shades like I do, but like just little pops of color or just like a little bit of variation, a little variety, you know, you don't want it to all be one tone and all one depth. Uh, but you know, you do like the more subtle or like just more wearable um, shades. And you wanna try out some new brands, some indie brands, show some like, you know, independent brands, some love, highly recommend. This palette is gorgeous. I've worn it multiple times love it uh any chance i get to wear it i'm like heck to the yeah so for today's look i'm going to start with this shade here called barely there and i would just insert i did some swatches the other day like i said i was doing them on my instagram showing some swatches so uh, i will just show the video or you know link 
what I have in there, but this is a gorgeous transition shade. And even their mattes, like I knew their metallics, you know, multi-chromes, you know, those shades, I knew those were pretty and great quality, but even their mattes, I feel like this, I don't know, I've had another palette that had mattes in it too, but like as far as really being able to test out their mattes, this is really, really pretty. And I'm gonna speed some of this up, so I'm gonna do this side and then I'll do the other side, you know, and we'll go back and forth. And in case you're wondering, I'm using a Ruffer 16 brush. It is a bigger brush, and I really like this for my transition because I can cover more base with, you know, one brush and one swipe, you know what I mean? So I do like that for my transition. And then I start going down to like a smaller, like a Ruffer 15, which is still a tapered crease brush, you know, blending brush. Um, sorry, I feel like there was a little hair on there. But yeah, so that's what I kind of go down to for my next. Um, I feel like I haven't really used this one yet, um, but I'm going to try this untouched shade, a very pretty like mauve -y shade. Whoops, I'm dipping my brush accidentally. So we're going to try that. Such a pretty color. Oh, such a pretty color and great formula oh so pretty so pretty beautiful palette uh so now we're going to go into a deeper shade i think i'm going to do since we're kind of doing that like purplish pinkish tone i think i'm going to go into this shade next to it called naturally we're going to use that on the outer v deepen it up i mean look at that that's one press And then you can still, like it still blends out very nicely. So I'm trying not to make my weird looks. <laughs> and we'll clean that up a little bit more, blend it. But oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Truly, if you have a chance to get your hands on this palette, I highly recommend and I can link the website below um, again it isn't any brand they're out of Australia so it does take a little bit of time their shipping is a little expensive too it's like $20 for shipping uh, but I found that if you can like bundle a couple get like a couple of palettes at once or if you want some single shadows with a palette that kind of thing uh, you know that, that's the best way to go and also I reached out to them I had purchased a palette and it was still going to be like a pre-order so it's still a month or two before it's even going to come out and then they released another palette and uh, they did refund me like the shipping so I only had to pay for one shipping for both palettes um, they, I did have to wait a little bit longer because I had to wait for the other one to be released as well but uh, but it did save me some money so there's always that option too all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with this shade down here called raw and we'll put that like towards the middle to the outer portion of the eye. Almost comes off a little like copper. It's my color a little bit. Or has like a, you know, kind of copper tone to it, I guess. Very, very pretty. And that specific metallic is, or, you know, sparkle is uh, definitely a little bit like of a drier formula. It's not like real wet and real you know, foiled or whatever, like some of the shadows can be, but it's a really nice formula. Really, really pretty. All right, so there's that. And then I definitely want to use this nearly natural shade right there. So pretty. Now that one's definitely a little bit, a uh, little bit wetter formula. Just a little bit, but definitely has more of a sparkle and like uh, dimension to it. So pretty. And if you are somebody that's more into like um, multi-chromes, those kind of things, they have some beautiful multi-chromes too, and like, you know, like iridescent shades and those kind of things, really, really pretty. And then I think for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Naked Eye. I think it's light enough if I remember. And from what I can gather by swatching in those shades I've used so far, most of these feel more of like a glittery, I mean, not like, you know what I mean? Not like a horrible like particle glitter, but like sparkly, more sparkly shades. Uh, and not like a whole lot of like wet foiled metallic type shades. But so pretty, 
so, so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna blend and clean this up a little bit. Be right back. All right, so that's the look so far. Still have to put like mascara, liner, all that stuff on. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then, uh, and my brows finish those up. <laughs> and then show you the final look. All right, welcome back. This is the final look. Let me know what you think. Uh, just to tell you some of the other products that I did use here at the end. Uh, this is newer to me, the About Face Lip Liner. Uh, it is a matte liner in, I think it says Cradled. So I think it's, but it's a really nice, just my color lip liner that I like. Kind of a nude, pinky nude, pinky nude brown kind of color. And then this is newer to me too, YSL, very fancy. Uh, the lipstick here was out of stock for a while, came, finally came back in stock and it is, I don't know, these weird things. It just says the number 12, I don't know, but I'll list down below the color, but I think I was able to make it work with that. I don't know if it would have been my, maybe my first choice, but um, I did want to try it out because I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. And sorry for my crazy hair. You know, it's just one of those things. But yeah, so let me know what you think of this look. Let me know what you think of these products. Like I said, out of all of these things, if there's one thing that I would definitely recommend is this eyeshadow palette. This thing is gorgeous, great quality, fabulous color story. It's just amazing. And at last, I mean, I put this on and then even the next morning, I know I'm really bad about that sometimes, but you know, even wearing it at work, I mean, I still had, you know, a lot of the glitter and just the look still looked nice. Like it still looked good after, <laughs> after hours of wear. So highly recommend this. One of the other things I would definitely recommend, uh, if you're in the market, you like Hourglass, I really do like these palettes. I think if you can find, they do have a darker one, they have this one, and then they have a more of a fair skin one. Uh, I think if you're around my skin tone, you like Hourglass, you're looking for, you know, maybe haven't bought any of their products in a while, just want to try something, you know, I do really like these palettes. Um, I know they're a little bit more expensive, but you do get a lot of stuff in there, six different powders. So, you know, it average about, you know, $15 per powder, I mean. Uh, another thing I definitely recommend, Patrick Ta. I love these face palettes, uh, the cream and powder formulation. I think it's just a beautiful combination of uh, great quality, great lasting power. Uh, I just really, really like these. So that would definitely be another one that I would highly recommend. The rest of the stuff, I'm just still kind of like, you know, figuring out, tweaking. Uh, but those are the ones I definitely recommend recommend. And then, I mean, if you don't already have a NARS face palette, I don't think you need to pick this one up necessarily, but if you have another one, uh, I'm sure you know how good of quality the NARS blushes are. So, but yeah. So let me know what you think down below. Do you like this look? Do you like the color story? I think it's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know the new products that you've tried recently. Have I piqued your interest with any of these products that uh, I've shown you? So uh, I'd love to hear from you down below. So otherwise, uh, if you like this kind of content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, turn on all notifications. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Stay safe through this storm if you're gonna be hit by it. And I do definitely hope to see you in my next video. Bye. My nose is itching. Good. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What's this say? Hmm. I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> um. Oh, I forgot my powder brush. What in the world? Take a drink real quick. Cause I'm dehydrated. make a mess while I'm at it. Um, great, you know, Trent, uh, have I tweaked your interest in, um, and I hope this look does look okay. I think it's pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it. I think the lip color looks okay with it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I was just testing out new lips, so we'll see. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Okay. All right. That is it. Until next time. See ya. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just being stupid now. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye.